responsible for you know if he yeah. it, 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 and I respect it. So. Yeah, I don't want my if I don't I'm not really gonna bite my tongue a lot, and I don't want your channel to be associated directly. I'm gonna be respectful, but I'm yeah yeah. yeah. And and big, and big big shout out to all these channels who are speaking truth. Yeah. And sticking up for speaking up or uh, sticking up for the weak ones. Exactly. Thank you. Um, you know, I've I've seen seen so many channels that uh, you know are, are a voice to the voiceless. I just want to personally thank you. And um, you know, as far as you know, the big opportunity that not opportunity, but the big hole that is left. Um, you know, there there is a void to be filled, and there's a lot of teams out there right now that are are going to be stepping forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, there's a lot of a lot of work to still be done to you know help families. So anyway, on that note, I'm done talking. I'm going to hit the X button over here. And then we're going to follow up on Kyler. And like, again, the reason we're doing this is because Kyler wants to make sure that, that, that he's saying his thing as an individual and as a man. And, yeah. I, and I respect that. Anyway, guys, thanks again. Yeah, thank you to everybody. I love you guys. And shoot, don't rape children. Yeah, never. Never that. Or anybody for that matter. No cap. I don't even remember how to turn this thing off. <laughs> X. X. All right. End the stream. We're going to put the phone over on your thing. All right, to everyone joining us, uh, thank you. I appreciate you popping on over. We're just going to switch the phone and move it. Um, if you could drop and let me know that you guys can hear us talking, that would be much appreciated. So, yeah. You want to get a drink of water real quick? Everything's set up. All right, it looks like you're on and you have, uh, you have, your, you have your, your platform. Uh, are you happy with that? Yeah, you can come sit. You want me to sit? Where would you like me to sit? Just sit with me. Right, I'll just sit with you. All I'm right. going to reference you at times, so I'll put some beer. All right. All right. So I just want to say that the story I'm about to tell you guys and just kind of this thing. I mean, this is one of, even before all this drama came out, this was one of the most impactful and probably biggest things to have happened to me in my adult life. And this has really affected something I love, which is YouTube. And honestly made, for up until, I will say up until you left, it made me not even really want to do YouTube, even though I liked it. And so this is a big, this is a big thing. And I feel like the time has come to get some things off my chest, um, get this weight off my shoulders. So I'm just going to, I'm going to tell you my story. Um, and yeah, we'll just go with that. So my first, so I don't remember, I don't remember when you first told me about AWP. I don't really remember any of that. So I knew you, he'd been doing YouTube. We had made a few, you made a few videos and there were some fun things that we'd done on there. And I remember, I remember the first video you ever had to get a thousand views and we just were sitting there watching the number come yeah. up. I, I remember it. We were sitting there with my brother and sister, and we were just so excited. Yeah, it was a big deal. So that was kind of my introduction to YouTube was, oh, he was doing it. So being as he's my dad, I always thought, like, oh, you know, he, I think he's cool. So at that age especially, like, some of the things he thought was cool would be cool for me. So when he told me about, you know, Adventures with Purpose, and he's like, yeah, we're out doing all these good things and helping people, I thought it sounded awesome. Like, I thought, oh. You know. uh, people are saying, uh, turn it up so if you can project your voice. Ahim. Or, or here, I'll, I'll move the, also, uh, yeah. I'll move the camera a little closer. So, yeah, we're going to have to not be soft spoken on this one. So, you can just hold it in as the phone falls. Turn it off. What do I do? All right, guys, we're just a little technical difficulties. Let me adjust this real quick and we're going to bring it in a little closer. Yeah, so Kyle, you're just going to have to kind of project your voice towards it. Um, okay, tell me if you can hear me. Let me know if it's any better. Okay. Let me know if the audio is doing any better. Um, let's see. Let me know if the volume's still low. Low volume, low volume. Use your volumes, guy. What Volume low, low audio. Volume is good for me. Um, audio is not good at all. Louder. Bro, I can, I can scream it. Let's see. I don't... Hard to hear. What do you think are... I, I think you should... Uh, maybe you can try taking it out of the case. Yeah. I, I don't think... People are saying volume is fine, and then some... All right, well, you can just I'll just hold it right here. Yeah, you just hold it. I'll hold it. This doesn't have to be... No. Okay, if you guys can um, hear me, uh, just let me know. Too low. Audio not... Audio was fine. Some people are saying it's fine. Some people are saying it's bad. Audio issues. Audio issues. 
audio issues. I, I can hear them good. Okay, so now it's hearing. I can, I can hear. hear. Okay. okay. Okay, so we're good now. We're good now. Okay, well, I'll just put it. I don't really like the angle, but we can just put it right here. All right. If you can hear me, cool. And if you can't hear me, I I don't know. I'm. Yeah, you're at a loss. Uh, I'm at a loss. Half the people are saying it's good. Do you have headphones? No, I don't. Audio low. Some people are saying it's good. Some are saying it's bad. Audio is low. Audio is low. Um, all right, let me. I, I'm just gonna. If you guys will excuse me for a second, I'm just gonna uh, hijack this for a second. Let's see if I can make some adjustments. Yeah, just go ahead and take. It. Can you guys hear me at all? All right, how about now, guys? Can you guys hear now? Um, Bro, this is terrible. Swamp Donkey says much better. Okay, much thank better. You, thank you, thank you. Volume. Better. better, okay. Okay, it's better. So just go ahead and go with what you have okay. to say. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now. Joining AWP. Man, as if this wasn't a hard enough thing. Okay. So I wanted to join AWP and go with you guys because I thought it sounded like a fun thing. Yeah. And I never really traveled that Much part better. of the country. It's good okay. now. Anyways, so I go and I meet up with you in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And so I, on purpose, what? Your, your, your thumb's holding, make sure your, your thumb doesn't cover the camera. Oh, okay. So I, on purpose, did not watch um, Adventures with Purpose videos before going there because I didn't want to know these guys, meaning, you know, Dan and Jared as being YouTubers. I just wanted to meet them. Yeah, you didn't want to have a preconceived notion. I didn't want any preconceived notions because I didn't, one, I honestly wasn't really that into true crime videos. And then two, I just really wanted to meet them. So I didn't really have much, um, you know, whatever. So I meet everybody. Everybody seems kind of decent, you know, at first. It's just, you know, whatever. So there's one day I, don't remember it was like a couple days into the trip where also i'm gonna say all this stuff i'm saying is alleged and my opinion for legal reasons Are you saying that for legal reasons for legal reasons everything i'm saying is the way i remember it yeah the volume's good so i think we can put it back okay now. put it back yeah volume's good we're gonna put this back real quick while you're talking and i think you have to scream as much just make sure you project your voice okay <sighs> okay anyways so a couple of days into the trip, so I've been kind of getting to know everybody a little. And I remember uh, Jared was in the, oh, like I said, this is all my opinion, but Jared was in the front seat and he was driving. And so I decided I was going to go up and talk to him and pick his brain a little bit because he was an interesting person to me. Like, why wouldn't he be? He has a YouTube channel. He has all this stuff. So I go and I start to talk to him. And one question in particular and what i remember asking was i asked him why he got into youtube and now most people when they get into youtube they say oh it's because i like something or oh it's because i was doing something already and thought it'd be fun to share it with an audience but he told me that he got into it for money and i was like what and he's like well i knew it was profitable and so for me that was kind of a weird thing but i didn't think too much about it you know i was kind of like like it's a little you know whatever but that's not that big of a deal so that was kind of the first red flag and then the second red flag was hearing how he spoke about his fans and the nature he spoke about his fans and the um some of the other i'm not going to mention any names but other people that were coming out to help us he was really speaking about them as if they weren't humans or people and i recall him saying he said it in a joking tone, but it didn't come off as a joke to me. He said that if they, if people didn't give his money to him, they would just be wasting it anyways. On something else. Yeah, on something else. And that was something he just said. And I think the other people might have caught, heard that and thought it was kind of a joke. But that kind of stuck with me. Because I was like, well, that's, you know, not whatever. But whatever. And then, so it was kind of on my mind a little bit. And then I have a vivid memory, this is my memory of it, of us, we had, I'm not gonna say the case, we've been working a case and uh, two little old ladies came up to us and they asked Jared, they're like, hey, do you have money for gas? And these ladies, I don't like to judge anyone 
based off appearance solely. But these old ladies appear to modest. be modest in nature, very modest. Very no modest. Some would even, you know, they did not look like they were well to do. And he said, yes, we need gas money. And he, you know, they handed him $50. And I also want to know at this point, he had bragged to me a little about some of the money he was making. So I was already, it was like a red flag. So he takes the $50 or whatever that they give him and he goes and he stuffs it in the door of the RV, the pocket, and it has the most loose money I'd ever seen in my life, like thousands of dollars. I'd never, I'd never seen that much loose money. So at that point, my like, my alarm's starting to go off, but I'm just really, so that was, I think the night before, that was the day before I left, I think. So then, the uh, last day, we're working a case, and this case is a very, I'm not going to say the case, I don't want to say any names, if they ever want to speak about things, they can, but this case allegedly involved some of the most horrific things you could ever think of happening to a person. Cult stuff. It was cult stuff. Cult related. And like involving rituals and like. Sacrifices. Yeah, all, just the worst stuff you could ever think of. And we are told the story, we are shown pictures to back up the claim. So immediately, I'm just like... Yeah, you're in a bad spot. We're in a bad spot. Not comfortable with that. I'm not comfortable with that, but it was like, to me, take the cult stuff and all that stuff away, because I've never experienced that. But to me, part of the thing is I have experienced death in my life. I have, ex as many people have, I've experienced, you know, family members. I've experienced friends that have, you know... Yeah, you've, you've had a lot, of, a lot of close friends. I've had life. close friends pass away. So I really, don't I don't take it lightly. And to me, handling people that are grieving and um, dealing with the death is a very um, like sacred kind of Int intimate. intimate thing. So to me, it was like, then to hear how it was their son had been murdered, allegedly. Um, it was... You know, to me, this is like, oh my gosh, this is the most sacred situation possible. Mm -hmm. So then, so we're out on the case. And I remember we're out looking for the person. And we go to a spot um, where we're looking. And it clearly, anybody who had been working the case would know there's no chance of the person being here. But they were, you know, filming and whatever. And I asked about it and I was told that it was for show. Like, we have a show to make. So I was like, why are we here? And I was told, oh, well, we have a show to make. And immediately, I got sick to my stomach. Yeah, I, I actually would sometimes say, so Jared, is this a show day or a uh, ser actual search day? What are we doing today? That's a real thing. And to me, to me, though, being told that when I'm over here with my whole heart into what we're doing made me just want to puke. Like, honestly. Mm -hmm. So then that night... Because these people, this is not a show for them at all. No. This is real life. No. This is real life. No. You, uh... They... It was never told... To my... To people I saw, they were never told that we were... Look, that there was places being searched just because it was good... Content. Content. Interesting. Interesting. So I was absolutely, you know, sick about that. So I, um... I remember that night. So at this point, I'm already sick. So we go back, and we, it's an older elderly couple. And we go and tell them that we were unable to find their son and that we'd have to either, I don't remember, we were going to try again or something. I don't remember. It was something. I was there, and I was told, it, it's hard for me to even talk about, but the old man was crying, and... I didn't film, I did not want to go, because I was helping filming, I did not want to go up close to him, and I, I turned the camera away because he was crying, and I didn't want anything to do with it, and then I got accosted for missing the what was called the money shot, and at that point, I just ended up storming out, because I, I, I like... To me, seeing the this couple who's the last, I think, 30 years of their life had been affected or something like that by this crying and then wanting this camera shoved in their face, mm -hmm. it, it just made me sick. Like, I was, no, I, I couldn't handle it. So I go out 
and you know my dad he notices and we go out and we talk in the rv and i tell him exactly how i feel about everything that's been going on and i'm you know crying and yelling at him and we had a falling out but we, we, we got we got into it and also some some things um, that had to do with me personally between he and i uh, came up which which ended up being a good thing because we were able to discuss things later and come yeah. to a better point yeah but, go ahead. but yeah no that's that's fair to put out but um yeah, so we had a we had a falling out over this, and um, I left. I was in. I'm gonna say where I was. I might give things away, but I was in the middle of Kansas. I called a taxi, middle of Kansas. No, I I don't know where I am. Like, and that made also all the other stuff crazier. Can, but, can I butt in? Yeah. So we were twenty, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right so so imagine this: a broke twenty-year-old in the middle of Kansas on this what is you know sold to be this awesome trip hey let's go across the country see all these things broke 20 year old says screw it dad i am buying my own taxi getting my own hotel getting my own fare and i airfare and i'm leaving tomorrow this this was this was this was who he is and where he was no because he he kept saying oh we'll just stay tonight we can drop you off or something i'm like no i'm done yeah he, he was done done he it, it was no it was no it was no hangout uh, well hey hey kyler we just hang out with we'll drop you off tomorrow he's not i, 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 I want to be gone from this as soon as possible and he and he left in a taxi cab and yeah. then i was even though he and i got into it over some things uh that was a very proud dad moment. Yeah, in it, a big way. Even though we, were, even though we had our little little moment, uh, uh, I was I was proud of yes, and man, was, I'm, I'm try, I want to be like him. <laughs> well, eventually you kind of were, but anyways, so I left. Um, I always I've I've told people it was funny to me that one of the worst nights of my life was in Kansas. Like I, as someone who'd never even been there, that was just ironic. But yeah, so we, so anyways, I leave, I go, um, I get an air, I fly home, whatever. Me and you, we don't really talk much for a little while. Yeah, for a, for a couple months. For a couple months, which for us, that's a long time. Like, I mean, at this point, we talk on the phone almost every day. But I mean, even then, like, that's a long time. So at this point, I leave, and then fast forward a little bit, you leave. And that was on. I was so relieved when he left. Um, I felt like a weight in our relationship had been lifted because I just saw you out there with who I at this point. I haven't even gone into detail on some things because I don't think it's whatever. But at this point, I had thought Jared was already the most evil person I met, mm -hmm. and a lot of that had to do with how he was selling himself as a poor person and taking advantage of people. And I was able to do some math and just knew he it wasn't yeah. accurate. And he was braggy. He showed he, us yes, that he, he was braggy. He was, oh, look, look at how good I'm doing. It was, yes. it was weird. Anyways, so I, you know, I was really happy when you left. Um, I actually ghost wrote part of when you were talking to Jared because I remember, <laughs> I remember um, – he, when the things happened between him and Jared, he really just was done with the situation. You were upset. I was pissed. He was super mad. You, you actually, you actually said that, hey, well, hey, da uh, hey, hey, dad. Because first off, I thought that why did I stay around so long? I actually thought that I could like steer the ship. Yes, I, I didn't be saying I, that. I, I didn't know that that Jared was you know this bad of a dude, and so I and so my first like check was all right. Well, well, I'm just gonna see if he even respects me, and by talking you know in terms of money because that's what he understands. And if, if, I, if I know that I have his respect, then during the, the trip, I'll come forward and I'll talk to him about everything else that's going on, mm -hmm. talk to him about my heart. I was really hoping that I would be able to open up to the guy and really steer this thing, you know, in, in a good, in a better way. Um, and things, things weren't that bad at first, but they kept getting nastier and nastier. He came in at a nasty moment. Yeah. And, uh, and so, like I said, I thought I could steer the ship, but in the end, no, I couldn't. Uh, there was no... Because there, there, there you know, Jared very much uh, presented it all, Sam, this is me and you, man. I, I actually, I don't know if you remember, but I actually, he was ready to just dip. I told him to check. Like, I was like, you should text him and see if he even respects you. Yeah, no, no I, I had actually had originally uh, sent him an F you text. He hadn't sent it, you typed it. No, you no, sent no, it to excuse, me. Excuse, you sent it to no, me no, to I, say. No, I, I typed it, because no, Kyler at this point, we are kind of talking back and forth. Because we're open about our experience with AWP. I was going to say, hey, Kyler, this is what I'm going to be sending to Jared. 
And then Kyler was like, wait, 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 wait. Maybe, maybe you should try to talk to him and see. Yeah, because I honestly, this is my thought. If Dad sent Jared an FU text, I thought, one, you would look like a bad guy and give him some whatever. And I actually thought, I knew Jared was going to tell you to screw off. I, in my heart of hearts, felt that. But I thought you needed to know that. Yeah, all right, cool. Like, I thought that you needed to see what kind of person he was. So I, I you know, kind of ghost wrote a nice little whatever text and it was about you know just wanting his respect and some of the stuff and you were told to screw off mm -hmm. so that happens are you going to be looking for it yeah actually, actually I, I found uh, i found the text that um well after he did tell me to screw off i did send the text um and uh, i said honestly over time i felt like you haven't valued me my well-being or respected my thoughts or options you kind of or opinions, rather. Let me back that up. <clears throat> Slow my reading. Uh, honestly, over time, I felt like you haven't valued me, my well-being, or respected my thoughts or opinions. You kind of have a King Jared mentality. You seem to look down on others, whether they are female, minority, poor, or anything other than you. Even an ignorant coal miner, as you have referred to blank, I'm not going to mention the person's name, I can only imagine what you say about me when I'm not there. Mm -hmm. You tell half-truths to your wife. If you are not honest with your mate, you won't be honest with me. I love helping the families and doing good in the world, but I was doing that long before YouTube and long before recognition. You do good because it's marketable. Val valor seems to mean nothing to you. After two years of hanging out with you, I've grown to dislike you. <laughs> so I did. I, so I did. I, I, I toned it down a little bit because I was heated. But, uh, but but I did end up sending him the text after I, I, I did have yeah. the initial handshake saying, hey, man, let's, let's see if we can work something out. Mm -hmm. I thought was we'd be able to work something out. And then on that trip, I'd have 40-plus days to, to, to work on him and talk to him and say, hey, man. And I, I, I thought I could, could steer the ship yeah. uh, and, and to, to, a, to a positive direction. But, uh, boy, was I wrong. And I honestly thought, I will, okay, I think you had been blinded by I don't know how many months of knowing the guy. I just came in and kind of saw, I just saw how he was at that moment when I came in. Yeah, yeah, so so I kind of, so I, I was starting to get be, lulled to sleep by it. Yeah, being a little desensitized, and I'll admit to that, I, I was certainly, I certainly was um, a little desensitized. There were certain, uh, certain things that I would not have crossed, and things were starting to, you know, swell up in my gut, when I could just feel that gut feeling, you know, saying, get away, get away, and then uh, Kyler got away, and then it was like, yeah, I definitely need to get away, get away. And then um, finally I did. And I wanted to speak slightly to me getting away. This was something like that when I, like the, like when I thought about it sounded amazing. Because one, I like scuba diving. That's like some of my passion. If I could do that professionally somehow, whether that's for YouTube or something, that'd be a dream of mine. Um, it involves helping people. It was just, there were so many things about this that sounded amazing to me. And I just was like, you know, I couldn't overlook how was and how things were going so it wasn't an easy like it was easy but it wasn't like something i wanted to do like it was like i have to that's why i just left the way i did because it was like i have to leave just just pull off the band-aid and leave yeah yeah so um i will say there have been people that have over this process harassed me um I've had people call me names. I've had people harass me and call my dad names. Most of those comments get to just end up getting deleted, but you know, they're there. And I am honestly so relieved that that is seemingly, at least involving that situation is behind us. There's always gonna be people that hate and troll, but I, I will say the hardest moment for me to stay quiet in all this was when you left and he was trashing you on the, that yep. community post. To watch somebody um, with a platform that big trash your father, who you know is not any of the things he was saying, and really wasn't active as active as he could have been with YouTube at that time, just because he wanted to spend time with me and my brother and sister, that like made me so angry. And then the fact that I couldn't say anything without just looking like I was. So a big thing of the in the text or the, his post was he attacked me as an entrepreneur. Yeah, it was an entrepreneur attack. Like it was all about money, um, but for him, maybe it was. And it looks it sure, certainly seems that way. Yeah, so it, that was really hard. It was really hard to stay quiet then, and then 
it's been as I've had this YouTube channel for over a year, it's been hard for me not to say things because I'm watching who I, in my heart of hearts, before even knowing these allegations, thought was one of the most evil human beings I'd ever encountered, be praised as a hero and lauded. And I would get I would get sad when somebody would come over and say something about AWP or like something because I'm like, oh, well, they're still kind of in the. But plus, people probably he was in some AWP videos. Yes, I was. Probably, oh man, have you have you ever even seen the AWP videos you were in? I have not watched the AWP videos. I am. I have had friends. So after I left AWP, I had friends reach out to me because they saw the videos I was in. I had never seen them. I I didn't have a desire to watch them. To me, that was a chapter of my life I didn't want to relive through video. So yeah. So, but my point I was getting at was, um, I am just happy that that chapter of having to deal with not being able to defend you the way I wanted to is now over. Yeah. To not speak out and say something is over. I'm glad that everyone right now is getting their chance to talk. And I hope that more people come forward and, you know, any victims of Jared come forward, you know, whether Survivors. it's survivors whether it's the people he's molested or the people he took advantage allegedly. of allegedly molested we're, or say, we're saying that for legal purposes or the people he allegedly took advantage of that i witnessed i hope they come forward um i yeah, hope to speak on that. i hope they come forward um i mean this is someone who has been in my opinion a menace to society like as a whole he's affected mm -hmm. people on every level of you know, like, you know, you yeah. go, he's affected grandparents. He's affected little kids, apparently. He's affected, like, this is, So I hope that um, there will be some justice served and that people that have been struggling with this are able to find some peace. And I pray for all the people that have been negative, like, all the people outside of, you know, him that have been negatively affected by the situation. So... Yeah, I don't really have too much more to say. There's other stories, other things I get into, but yeah. you so, guys. Get so, 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 so can, I, can I ask you a couple Yeah, you questions? can ask me some questions. Because um, I know, just to clear things up, um, did you did you know or have any pre-knowledge of the things that were brought forth in these uh, indictment charges or these this indictment did you did you know did you know about it no i did not and if i had there would have been you would have seen a video on kyler gin's channel titled something i can't even say here but it would have been yeah, it's your no channel so i can't say it either no i yeah we we've been calling him some names which i honestly there's there's okay i don't like call people names but once you get to the level that he allegedly has gotten to the gloves are off you can just yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever. Um, um no i did not know about anything um i knew about other stuff but to me i knew that with my limited platform and if i came forward with this other stuff it just wouldn't even i felt as if it would not help anything yeah and, and, and just real quick, um, may, may I say something? Yes, go ahead. Well, with with nearly uh, five thousand people, uh, you know, live and in this live stream, um, I just want to, you know, publicly say, you know, I, I really respect you, Kyler, for it. And I respected that when you walked away. Me and you, we had our issue. We were getting into it, but but I respected you, and I, re I respect you as a man. I and, appreciate and I just that. Wanna, you know, I love you, and I. Love you yeah, too. You're an awesome dude. And I'm looking forward to you know to, to you being the kids of my grandbabies one day parent to your grandbabies yes yeah, excuse me the parent yes i said that wrong but the parent you know yes. so yeah you're a great dude man i'm proud of you Thank and uh, you. and i know i know it took a lot of heart you know you're a young guy and right now social media is hot twitter's hot all these things are hot you know mm -hmm. but but you were like yo i'm out you know you stuck to your morals you stuck to your guns you were the you know the the for me you were definitely a big part um in helping me to open my eyes you know the canary in the coal mine and I, i'm proud of you and i'm proud and i'm just you're i love you and i'm proud of you the day after I got, I appreciate that. The day when I got home, I posted a Bible verse, and I'm going to quote it within, you know, I don't, not, I can give you the gist of it. The gist is, what is a man to gain if, what, it's basically something that goes to the point of, what is it if a man gains the whole world if he loses his own soul? And I left Adventures with Purpose knowing my soul was intact, and I hadn't sacrificed that, and that's something I will never give up for fame, money. Like, my soul is never for sale to anyone. That's something I will stand on forever. So if there's any buyers out there, I'm sorry. Off 
the market. But yeah, and that it is. While I have, I have a lot of feelings of like you no know, disgust, anger, but I definitely do have a feeling of vindication that I see some sort of justice is being served in this situation, and I hope it continues to go in that direction. So. I don't really have much more to say on that. And our hearts with you know, our hearts with yes. all of you, all those who've been affected, um, whether it's uh, you know small or monumentous. Um, you know, we're, we're, we stand with you. And I, I think that Kyler, you stand with the. I stand with um, any. I stand with any victim of sexual assault or violence of any kind. So these victims, I, you're in my prayers nightly. I hope that you're able to find some peace and. Yeah, I just pray that God puts his arms around you and yeah. Yeah, and uh, and yeah. That's all that's all I can say to that. Good job, Kai. All right. Love you, man. Love you too. Yeah, you did good. All right, thank you. Um feel better? Yeah, I feel I honestly I feel, feel like I just got a lot off my chest. Yeah. Um, I'd like to shout out my mom who's in the chat. Love you, mom. Um, everybody else who's been supportive. I appreciate it. And thanks for being here. My son could could speak and tell his truth, and uh, you know get this off of his chest. He's been holding back for the last year and a half, I two would, years. I would almost every time I'd go on a live, I'd be that I would definitely have moments when I'd go in a live stream and be like, "Is this the day I just snap and tell everyone? Just snap and tell everybody how horrible this person is?" Yeah. And it's like, but but, but you did you did good though. You you, you held it together until. Yes, I knew that. Appropriate time. I knew that it wouldn't help anybody. So, yeah. Anyways, and, and what's your channel about, by the way? To the people who are just tuning in, my channel is titled Kyler Ginn, which is my name, and it's really about the things I go do, and which is a lot of the stuff is scuba diving. Um, there's other just fun videos, but a lot of it's just scuba diving, environmental cleanups, stuff like that. Stuff. If you watched his channel when he was putting out content, it's a lot. It's pretty similar. Yeah, so there's stuff coming. There's stuff coming. Okay, when he was putting it out at a higher clip. Um, so if you like scuba diving or just fun stuff in general, I do have a dive video coming out. But that's pretty much what my channel is. But I wasn't. That's not really what this is about to me at this moment. But yeah. yeah. Um, so you think uh, anything uh, you'd like? Anything you'd like to say in closing? Because I think, I think this will be. Probably the last time. This is the last time I talk about the situation like this. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, is there yeah, anything yeah, we need to get to off our chest? Um, no, we just, you know, this was brought to our doorstep. People were asking, you know, did you guys know? Um, mm -hmm. Kyler was uh, there for, you know, a, a period of time, um, and also, like, you know, he, he had to come out and, you know, speak his truth. And thank you guys for for hearing his truth. Uh, and I'm proud of you, you know, for, you know, you instantly felt it was off. Um, it took me a little longer than you, uh, but I, I got there. Um, there were certain lines I wasn't ready to cross, and, and you, you just snipped it out much quicker than I did. And like I said, I'm proud of you. And guys, again, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for uh, you know, hearing what Kyler had to say. Thank you, um, you know, for supporting you know, um, good people out there doing good things. And uh, let's wrap our arms around you know, those that have been affected in a neg negative way. All right. Um, let's, let's, let's just shift the focus to, to those people who, who need it in a big way. Exactly. In a big way. Anyways, guys. Um, I think that's going to do it. I'd like to uh, thank you all for joining us, and thank you for allowing me the chance to speak my heart and my truth. Remember, this is my perspective and no one's else's. So, yeah, I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.